Welcome back to Nerd Room with j and My name is James Charmack. We are looking at the brand spanking new Spider-Man 2099 from Across the Spider-Verse. Looking forward to getting this figure. Want to see how he differentiates from your standard comic book version. See how he fits in with the previous figures from the Spider-Verse waves. And uh, see how he looks. So uh, let's take a look at the box and we'll look at the figure. Okay, so this is basically your new packaging. Or like going back to the past, I guess. But... This is how I guess they're doing the Marvel Legends from now on and, and just like standard card backs, full on window display. In the back you have figures in the way. It doesn't look like they're gonna have a room for the figures, but who knows they could. I don't know, but anyways, it looks like they're putting plastic backs so you can put hang them on the wall or display them, so that's pretty cool. So we have them out of the package looking pretty cool. Uh Looks like your character, or at least the body design, was more inspired by, say, your uh, Batman the Animated Series, where like the top is pretty heavy and going down, and the legs are not, are not more or less less bulk to it. Uh, I like that they they changed the design a bit. Basically, it looks more like a skull in the comic, but they just made it look obviously like a spider. Still keep most of the head, you know, designed around the eyes and whatnot. I like the. Uh, yeah, side talons coming out. That's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of red going on. A lot more than the usual Spider-Man 2099 figure. Uh, the cape. I like how it's it's actually fixated to the figure, so it's really you can't take it off. Overall, it's this nice design. Like I said, it's heavily inspired. It looks like from the DC Animated Universe for uh, simplicity and whatever, but it's still pretty cool. So uh, let's take a look at his articulation. See if he can do like Spider-Man like poses. So it looks like they're still working with regular Marvel articulation or whatnot for like your standard figures. But anyways, his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around, tilt side to side for Miguel O'Hara. Arm goes up just that far, goes all the way around. And there's actually some texture to the suit, so that's pretty cool. Uh, no butterfly joints, on, unfortunately. Bicep rotation, double joint at the elbow, wrist rotation back and forth. Can bend back that far, go forward that far, twist at the waist, no side to side at the diaphragm, legs go apart that far, go forward and back that far, thigh rotation, double joint the knee, ankle pivoting and back and forth. So it is what it is. Uh, not like a Spider Man, full on Spider Man posability, but you know, can't really do it with a like a hulking strong body, right? But it is what it is. So accessory wise, doesn't come with too much, doesn't come with a build a figure part, uh, like I said. It comes with two pairs of fists. One a pair of fists, obviously, and another kind of a reaching type of hand. I wish that they had like little talons on it, like you know, the car the comic book character, but it is what it is, I guess. And here he is with the other Spider-Verse figures that I have, looking pretty cool, looks like he fits in, you know, obviously they're all like cartoony looking, so uh, obviously he fits right in with the dynamic and the design and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. And we have, of course, the comic book 2099, obviously a darker design, different insignia and whatnot, obviously it looks more skull-like. Like, you know, it looks a little darker, it looks, you know, obviously the character in the comics a bit darker than your regular Spider-Man prototype, so at least, you know, not just in costume, but in personality, so, but still, you know, it's not too far off where that's not recognizable as 2099 either, so. So it's a very cool looking figure, the design is, is extremely appealing, you know, looks spot on to the, what I've seen in the trailers. Uh, Design, uh, structure wise, he, you know, like I said, he's got those very skinny legs and the feet are very pliable, almost rubberish. So it's, you know, getting him to stand up is kind of tricky, not to mention he, he has a cape in the back and so he's not only top heavy, but he's also back heavy. So it's, you know, just trying to get him in like some standard poses kind of tricky. Pretty much, you know, if you're going to really get him poses, you should use your uh, flight stands or whatever. Or your figure stands but otherwise pretty cool i dig him a lot you know nice like it you know the, the colors stand out the designs stand out to me and like i said the animated aesthetic is fantastic so 
of course he's going to be in the collection so that's it for this figure uh you know playing more figures are trying to get done slow and steady but we're going to get through them hopefully uh both mcfarland figures and uh marvel legends gotta get done and uh we'll see how anything goes i'd like to cite it tr uh, like to start tr to try to get some more reviews going we'll see how that goes cross my fingers but anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you guys do enjoy what i'm doing you know you know as much as i can as you know with as time permits for me i can try to put these videos out because you know for me, my regular drops kind of a drag. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you do like it, give me a like, subscribe, whatever. If you guys have a small small channel, let me know how you're doing. How you're, you know, you say you have a full-time job. How you're doing these videos and trying to put them out or whatever. Anyways, my name is James Charmack. This has been a Nerdum with J&J. &J, and as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.